All right, guys, and here is our homework pages. All right, so to go over, right, they always give us a little um, sample one. So here is hands-on. We're using models to multiply fractions. Two-fifths times one-half, right, in simplest form when we're finished, right? We have to find it first. We have to find this expression, the answer to this expression. So to find two-fifths times one-half, find the area of two-fifths and one-half in a unit rectangle. All right, so they made our unit rectangle, and we're going to divide it up into fifths and halves. So one, two, three, four, five, and halves. I'm going to do my two-fifths here and my one-half here. I'm going to color two out of five, the only halfway through. So now I'm going to count these squares. Oh, sorry, I should go back over here. The square is divided into five equal rows. One, two, three, four, five. Since the denominator of the first fraction is five, the square is divided into two equal columns since the denominator of the second fraction is two. One, two. The portion of the model where two-fifths and one-half intersect is shaded. Right, so we did that. We did the to two-fifths, only to one-half. There are two sections in the model shaded, right? One, two. Write the fraction that compares the number of shaded sections to the total number of sections. So I did my two here. I have all together, I have to just count my squares, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You could count by twos, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, or you could count by fives. Five, ten. Either way, you're going to have ten. So now I need to simplify it. So I could take, if I took two squares, I could break this up still equally and have one, two, three, four, and then I have to add these two long way, right? I still have two there. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. So now I have colored, I have one whole colored out of five. So I simplified it. So two-fifths times one-half equals two-tenths or one-fifths, right? I could just put it, instead of putting or, I could put an equal sign here, or. Notice they put the comma, right? When I'm explaining it, I put so, comma, because it would be kind of like I paused here. <clears throat> they had one more comma up here I was going to tell you guys about, but I skipped it. To find this expression, comma, I find, right, because I have an independent clause <clears throat> and a dependent clause, right? My independent would be find the area of two-fifths by one-half rectangle, right? That's my depend independent. It's all by, it could stand all by itself. My dependent one to find two-fifths times one-half, right? In math, I wouldn't need a complete sentence anyway, but it's nice to do sometimes here. All right, so sorry. Well, I'm going to do one-half times one-half, so I broke it up into two by two. I'm going to do one half on this side and one half on this side. I'm going to color them. All right, I color one half here. Oop, and I already colored one half there when I colored the one half here. All right, so now all together, <clears throat> I have four squares. So that is my denominator. How many did I color? One of them. All right, so here is four fifths times one half. So I'm going to color four fifths times one half. So I'm going to only color to the half, right? I'm going to color four fifths. One, two, I really need to sharpen my pencils. Three, four. All right, to find my answer now, I'm going to count my total number of squares. I have, I'll count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. 10. All together, I have 10 squares. And I colored in 1, 2, 3, 4 of them. Right, if I broke my squares up into groups of 4, I'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2. So I can't do that. But I could break them up into groups of 2. Right, I could do 1, 2. Oops, sorry, I'll do them together. I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, I'll add these two this way, long way. So I still have 10 squares all together, right? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five groups of two. And how many groups of two did I color? I colored one, two of them. So now my fraction in its simplest form is two fifths. All right, I guess it would be like if this was a birthday cake. You could picture it. This person ate two pieces. This person ate two pieces. But then they could still have three more pieces for other people to eat, right? If they ate, or they could eat two each. They could have three more people eat two pieces each. All right, on to the back. All right, so here's Charlotte. Charlotte spent one half of the day shopping at the mall. She spent one-fourth of this time trying on jeans. What fraction of the day did Charlotte spend trying on jeans? So I'm going to do one-half times one-fourth equals draw models to help me solve it. All right, so let's draw our model over here. I'm going to break it up into two this way and four this way. So I'm going to do three lines to get four boxes there for, I don't know, one half times one fourth. <clears throat> so now I have to color. I'm going to color one half times one fourth of them. So here I'm going to color only to the half. And here I'm only coloring to the fourth. So hopefully now you can see I have eight boxes all together. I colored one of them. So this is the part of her day, right? She spent this much time at the mall and this much time trying on jeans, right? She had more of her day here. <clears throat> All right, here is, mi oh, sorry, I should have written one-eighth of what? We can never just put like that, right? We're going to put one-eighth of the day. All right, here is Mrs. Hendricks. She is buying, Miss Hendricks is buying a rectangular, rectangular piece of land that is two-fifths of a mile on one side and five-sixths of a mile on the adjacent side. What is the area of the piece of land? All right, so same thing. It's not, it, the land would, I guess it would kind of look like this, right? So here's her piece of land. I should probably draw more, but I'll just, this will work. We're going to do one. Actually, I will. I'll draw one more. And divide it into two. All right, so now I have five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And now I need to divide into sixes. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. The last one's kind of, the last two are kind of skinny, but it works. And I'm going to do two fifths. And here I'm going to do five sixths. So I'm going to color my two fifths all the way out to five sixths. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go to here, right, and here I'm going to go up to my two. So I'm going to color all these boxes in and count how many boxes I have all together out of how many. And that's how much of how big her land is, right? So this is her piece of land. How big is it? It is. <clears throat> we'll count our total boxes by five. What do you think? We'll go five. Right, what, sorry, we'll do this way, because it is this way. One, two, three, four, five. Right, go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Whoops, I should have written my problem first. Two fifths times five sixths equals, right, I counted all my squares. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And that's my total, my denominator. Now I have to see how many boxes we actually colored in. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so hopefully now you could see I could break this up into pieces of ten, 
right? I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10. Right, I have to see how, right, I colored in one of those 10 pieces. How many 10 pieces do I have now, though? There's 10. Right, here's going to be another 10. Or let's, how should we do it? Let's see. How about, we'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's my second group of 10. Right, so I have one group of 10. I colored that one in. I have another group of 10. It's not colored in. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is my final group of 10. It's crooked over there. But altogether, I have three groups of 10. These two are shaped the same. This one's shaped differently, but it's still 10 squares. So I have three groups of 10. So her piece of land that she bought is one third of a mile, a square mile. So a mile would be straight because it goes both ways. I'm going to call it a square mile. All right, here is Katenka, cross country, skied a trail that was three fourths of a mile each way. I don't know if you guys know what cross-country skiing is. It's a different kind of skiing. You actually have to kind of push your skis while you ski. Um, but she sk skied a trail that was three-fourths of a mile each way. After skiing two-thirds of the trail, she turned around. What fraction of the mile did Katena ski before she turned around? Right? She didn't go the full three-fourths of a mile. She stopped only two-thirds of the way through the mile. Right, there's different ways. I could draw a model and try and figure it out, but it's harder this way because here's how one, so I'm going to go one, two, three. So right, this is the trail. She was going to go from here to here. Here's one mile, but the trail isn't one whole mile long, right? She, she was going to go this far, but she didn't make it that far. She only made it two-thirds of the mile. So now instead I'll break my thing up into two, right? So she went Oops, it would be more here because she didn't go the full. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So here's two thirds of a mile. So she went to about here. I got to figure out how much less, how much did she go? So I'm going to take my three fourths times two thirds equals, just writing my fractions a little differently. Let's do our box though our model, sorry. So I'm going to do four rows. One, two, three. So I have one, two, three, four. And two thirds, so I'm going to go one, two, so now I have three. Now I'm going to color three fourths of them times two thirds so I can see my math visually. So I'm going to go one, two, three, right up to here. If I was only coloring one third, I'd leave it at that, but I'm going to color two thirds, so I have to go one more. All right, so now we're going to count our total number of squares shaded. Oops, I already put my equal. Our total number of squares shaded. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them are shaded. How many all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? It's easier if you just can't count by three, by, um, if you could count by threes. Three. 6, 9, 12, or I could count by 4's, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, 4, 8, 12, either way I'm going to have 12 of them. If I broke this up into groups of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then these other 3, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they're shaped differently, so it might be higher to see, but now I have 1, 2, so I colored in 1 out of 2, pieces. Mile, right? If it was more than one, I'd put miles with an S, but it's not one. It's not, it's less than one, so I'm going to put mile with no S. All right, here's Miriam. She spent three-fourths of her allowance at the mall. Of the money spent at the mall, one-third of it was spent on new earrings. What part of her allowance did Miriam spend on earrings? All right, so we're going to take our three-fourths and multiply it times one-third 
and see what I get. So I'll draw my model. I need to save room for my last model for Lexi. She spells her name different than our Lexi. Oops. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three. So now I have one, two, three, four. And I'm going to divide this up into three. So I'm going to draw two lines, and I have three. So I'm going to do three-fourths times one-third. So right, I'm only going to color to the one-third, which would be right here, right? This is two-thirds, three-thirds. And I'm going to do one, two, three out of four here. I'm going to see how many squares I colored. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? It's the same array, just switched sideways. So I still have 12, and I colored in 1, 2, 3 of them. I colored less than in my last picture. So now I have to figure out, hmm. Right? Remember, I can break 12 up into 3. I could also break up into four, but I'm going to break it up in, I could break it up into six. This time I'm going to break it up into groups of three. So I'm going to say one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and up at the top I have one more, one, two, three. So I have groups one, two, three, four, and I colored in one of those groups. So she has one fourth of her allowance she spent on earrings All right now this is where you could take this and do a whole number of problem here right I could say if if Miriam's allowance was four dollars how much did she spend on earrings one dollar if Miriam's allowance was one dollar how much did she spend on earrings 25 cents right out of one dollar I know I'd have four quarters she spent one of those four quarters on her earrings but earrings probably don't cost a quarter so right so she if she had 20 right she would have spent five dollars on earrings because I could break 20 up into five by five by five plus five plus five plus five plus five into four pieces she'd spent five dollars of her allowance on earrings all right here's Lexi she's they spelled her name wrong our Lexi spells it with a Y. Lexi ate some of the apples that her mother brought home from the farmer's fair. One half of the apples were left over. Star ate one-sixth of the apples that were left over. What fraction of the apples did Star eat? So, right, she brought some apples from the fair. They ate a bunch of them, but they didn't eat all of them. They still had one half of them. And then Star ate some of that half. So we're going to say she had one half times one sixth is the part that star ate and how many apples did star eat or how much how many percentage right what's the fraction of the apples did she eat <clears throat> all right so we'll draw our picture right here so I need to break it up into two so there's one two right here's what they ate all those so here's what's left and she ate one-sixth of those leftover ones so one two three four I'm gonna draw one more square on so I have my five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. always count twice all right I should have done that earlier okay and I'm gonna color one-half of one-sixth Right, right. This isn't the number of apples; it's the percentage, the the fraction of the apples that she had. So all together, she had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and she colored, and I colored one square. So one twelfth of the apples. Right, they had six apples. She had to cut one in pieces. She ate half of one of the all apples. If they have 24 apples, she ate two of the apples. Because out of every 12, she would have eaten one. All right, and that's it for our math homework. Woohoo! I know it's getting hard, guys, but you can do it.